Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today I'm bringing to you another iPad Pro 12.9 case. The cases are coming in, they're coming in slowly, so as soon as I'm getting them, I'm posting them on the channel. So why don't you stay tuned and check out this new case. It may be your next one for your iPad Pro 12.9. Now guys, this is a uh, synthetic leather case that I found on Amazon. It's under $24. It's like $23.99. Um, I like the color brown, especially when it comes to portfolios. I do have some traditional black ones, but I like switching things up. And as I mentioned many times on the channel, I, I'm, I kind of like cases, I like bands, and I also like covers like this so that I can switch things up on my iPad. So this is definitely one that I'm going to be uh, traveling with. Uh, here's the brand of the company. I'm not going to try to even pronounce it. But there is the brand. I'm going to include the link um, in the comment area. And the neat thing about this is that it has, while it's synthetic leather, it is very nicely done. So if you look at all these stitching, look at the stitching, how clean it is. So the stitching going in throughout the entire case looks really, really sharp. Uh, as we open it up, a couple of things that you'll notice that it does have a shell. And the shell is going to give you some extra stability. So let me put it to you this way. See, it's kind of hard to bend. Even when I'm bending, the, the center stays firm, but the sides are the ones that are giving because of, obviously, the cutouts. So this is going to give you some more support when it comes to your iPad. And let's face it, we've already seen that they're easy to bend. You also have multiple viewing angles that we're going to see in a couple seconds when we put our iPad. And then you have a hand strap here that as you have your iPad, you can actually put your hand strap hand right here and use this to keep your iPad in place and hold on to it. It does have a pencil holder. So you'll see this right here. This is the pencil holder where you'll be able to slide it in. And you'll notice that, let me move this right here. By this cutout here, your pencil is going to be able to charge here at the same time. Uh, cutouts for your camera are there, and we're going to see how everything aligns shortly. And all in all, it's a really good looking case with, again, this protective strap that you can use to keep it closed. So it really gives you kind of like the appearance of this being a folio. It has a little area here where you can put some papers. Maybe if you're on, going on a plane, you can put your uh, ticket here. Uh, or if you're on a bus or train, you know, whatever you want to have with you, you can stow it real nicely. Let's go ahead and see what the iPad looks like. in it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now, some of the other cases that we've been reviewing don't support the auto wake feature. Uh, this one definitely does. So when you open it up, and I'll turn this off just to show you. So it's off. And then what we'll do is we'll open it up and you'll see that it turns on. So auto wake is supported nicely. And then as you can see here, your cutouts really give you access to your speakers. You can charge this with the tablet in the case. As you look at it right here, again, you'll see everything there is nicely um, available on the side here. You can see the access to the pencil. We're going to put the pencil here just in a second so you can see what that looks like. And then you also do have those multiple viewing angles. So this is one viewing angle. And the grooves here make sure that it will not fall out. Right? It's not magnetic, but again, the each one of these grooves keep it in place. And it stays pretty hardy, so you'll notice that it doesn't come out. So these are your three viewing angles. So this is really... Um, used as a media consumption device. So, uh, you know, there are really, you know, can, can you put it like this? Yes, but there's really nothing that you can do to hold it up. So if you're going to use this case for typing, this is probably not your case for typing because you don't have uh, the shorter angle that allows you to use the screen for typing as we've seen with some of the other things. So uh, just be forewarned on that. Uh, the corners, let's look at the, the protection that you have again. So you have some good protection here on the sides in the case you drop your tablet. And then over here, look at how much depth there is. This is what I'm talking about. See that? That's going to give you a lot of protection. And then as I put this in place right here, that's going to keep it from opening. And then you have access to your volume rocker there and your power button as well. Let's see what the Apple Pencil looks like. All right, so now let's take a look at the Apple Pencil. So we're going to put it here and then we're just going to let it just clip into place like that so it's there. Uh, I'll put this strap on it so you can see the strap is still there and it's not coming off. Now, if you don't want it here because again, like I showed you, this could come off, what you could do is just slide it in here and have it there. Now, that's not gonna come off. It's pretty tight. I'd be careful because over time, I think because it's elastic, um, it may stretch, but for now it's gonna stay in place. So it supports Apple charging, the pencil, and it also will allow you to stow it and take it with. Now the last thing I'll highlight about the case is the fact that we've seen other cases that have the pencil in the inside and what I don't like about it is that it adds additional width 
to the tablet. So let's face it, this is a big tablet. So having something that is compact, that is still going to give you some good protection in the event that you drop it, that's going to help with the bend protection, is a good deal. And again, at under $24, uh, this is a great looking case. It doesn't smell, looks good. And it's hard for someone when they look at this to even think that it's a tablet. They actually think that it's a portfolio like where you would have paper. So guys, that concludes our review of this tablet case for the iPad Pro 12.9. Uh, it's also available for the 11 inch, so I'll keep the links in the comment area below. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know what else you're looking for in the form of accessories for the iPad Pro. See you in the next one.